Hey, how's it going, YouTube? How y'all doing today? I got this uh, fly problem solved officially. This fly problem, okay, I figured out the best solution. The cheapest, fastest way to get rid of flies on cattle is to just get a spray bottle like this and put some insecticide in it. I'm using a permethrin. I have a permethrin concentrate and I just mix it with water. And uh, anywhere that there are flies, I just carry it around with me. And anytime I got flies on, on any of these animals, I just uh, spray them. I just spray the flies with, with this little uh, hand spray. And it's got rid of 90% of the flies within 12 hours. I would say it's actually probably closer to 98 or so percent. Anytime I see any flies on these animals, oh, oh she's gonna freak out. It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. That's one of my new little heifers. Yeah, she's freaking out. Well, I was gonna try and get up and I, I'm gonna give her some space. She was eating, she, she's eating, so I wanna make sure she keeps eating, but. Yep, but, but look at these uh the, these animals. The, the flies are uh, completely, uh, practically completely gone. And so I've got the fly problem situated. And so uh, from what I've seen uh, in terms of uh, treating these flies, but look at, look at the rear ends on these animals right now. I think uh, the, uh, I gave them too much of that mineral salt and that, that, uh, that them getting too much salt is making them have diarrhea is uh is what it's looking like and so i've uh i've cut their uh their, their mineral salt program for today i cut the altosid salt out of their their diet because what i was doing was i was mixing the altosid salt in with the uh with the feed so that they would be forced to eat the altosid salt the mineral salt mix and i think that the uh, the salt is making them scour that the uh the the mineral uh the mineral salt is making them scour and so I, 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 uh, I'm just not giving them any, uh, mineral salt today. And I'm spraying them down with this permethrin insecticide and the permethrin insecticide, it, it works very well. Just got to, uh, stand up, uh, up, uh, uh, upwind and just spray it up in the air like that over their backs when they're eating. And it'll, uh, it, it'll just completely get rid of the flies. See like this right here, the bison over there got a, got a lot of flies on them. Just spray it over their backs like that and it completely gets rid of the flies. I mean, I must have gotten rid of uh, 98, 99% of the flies in 12 hours. And so the flies have uh, been completely uh, decimated. And uh, I also got them on that, uh, that feed through salt. And so the, the larva side is gonna kill the, uh, the flies in the larvae. So um, I'm what I'm anticipating is that this is going to be my solution. So far that this is looking like my solution. It cost me like a dollar. It doesn't even cost me a dollar. Maybe cost me a few cents. You know, a bottle of permethrin concentrate is like 10 bucks. And then I just mix that permethrin concentrate with water. And I just carry it in a spray bottle and I just spray it over their backs. And it completely gets rid of the flies. And so uh, that's very good because I don't want these animals uh, getting uh, eaten alive by flies. And so, uh, yep, I got these. Uh, I got this fly situation uh, figured out. Oh my gosh! Look, like, look at this right here. Oh, he's not gonna let me get close. He, th I, this stuff is. It smells like gasoline, and so I think it f the smell freaks these animals out. But you see these flies. It, uh, it it'll get rid of the flies. That's the good thing. And. Uh, if the flies just uh, come in contact with the solution, this permethrin is supposed to be very, 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 very toxic to, to insects, to all sorts of insects. So, uh, yep, uh, but it completely decimates these flies. I got, I've gotten rid of uh, practically all my flies at this point. I have very, 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 very few flies left, and these animals, uh, they probably are much happier for it. Don't want these flies uh, eating these animals alive. That, that that's no good right so but yep i got my flight problem situated since last night the animals are doing good i got uh, a few more uh, maybe a month and a half with the majority of these animals like, I'm, I'm gonna keep the small heifers and uh, i'm gonna start uh by the uh, about the first week of july i'm gonna start looking for places to to pick up more animals i got i got all sorts of uh, cell barns that i can go to and i also know this local rancher 
And so, uh, yep, I'm gonna have to start putting animals together, and I'm gonna have to put another lot of animals together by the end of this year. Oh, excuse me, by by the uh, by the end of July. And uh, yep, I, I I think that uh, corn prices are gonna go lower. And my 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 overall outlook for the market is that if the corn prices go lower, and feeder cattle go up. The uh, the thing about the because well I think that the the main driving mechanic is going to be that the inventories are so low, and so but if the corn price drops and the feeder cattle go up, the spread between the feeder cattle and the calves are are going to increase. So I, I I still think that the cow calf market is going to do that do the best. Um, until the corn market stabilizes, I think that uh, I think if the corn market continues to drop and the uh, the inventories for cattle are are low, uh, the cow calf market is going to do the best, and there's going to be a large spread between the cow uh, between the calves between the lightweight calves calves under 500 pounds and feeder calves. So any 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 animal over six weight is going to be a is going to be a it's going to be a it's going to be a large spread. Between the uh, between the, uh, the the calves and the, uh, the 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 five six weight cattle, that's what I think is going to happen. And so, uh, yep, uh, me uh, well, the market conditions. I I guess uh, when I anticipate uh, what what uh, you know when I look for good market conditions for me, you know, as a person who is capable of growing grass very well, my my whole thing is that I would like a. Uh, the price of a, a feed to be essentially be high if the um if the price of corn is high uh the uh the the, the spread between the the heavier cattle and the lightweight cattle will shrink usually like last year when corn was extremely expensive uh calves were going for like a dollar 60 and fed cattle were going for like a like a like a dollar a dollar dollar 30 dollar 20 so the, the spread between like a seven weight and a, and a two weight animal was like uh, 30 to 40 50 cents but right now the spread is like three dollars for a calf some of these uh super super premium fancy calves are going for three dollars uh, uh just a, a a regular old uh, number one heifer right now a three weight number one heifer is going for like two dollars and then 15 cents two dollars 20 cents and uh well, I mean, the spread for heifers isn't that bad. Uh, the, the the as of right now, when I look at my local markets, the spread for a heifer it ain't that bad. The uh, a, a two and a half weight heifer is going for about um, uh, or excuse me, a three and a half weight heifer is going for about a uh, two ten two two twenty five a pound, and when they get up to that seven weight, they're going for about a dollar seventy. So the spread on them ain't bad, but the the spread on steers right now is real bad. The, the spread on steers right now a number one steer uh a three and a half weight number one steer can go anywhere from about uh two dollars and fifty to up to three dollars and the uh the seven weight steer is going for like uh it's going for like two dollars a pound so uh the 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 spread is almost a dollar for the for the steers but the heifers it ain't so bad right now the spread on heifers ain't so bad right now and so uh but yep yeah, i think that the corn prices are going to fall and when the corn prices fall well like you know like um if i was going to make a lot of money on stalker cattle if the corn price is stabilized if corn price is stabilized that that would be great um Corn prices stabilizing would would shrink the gap between the the heavier feeder cattle and the and the lightweight calves, and uh, I have grass here. I, you know, I'm real good at growing grass, and so, you know, uh, if the price of corn is high, I don't really care because uh, I got grass. You know, and so uh, it, that it, it, if the spread between the, uh, the the lightweight calves and the heavier fi uh, fed calves. Uh, the feeder cattle, if the, if the spread shrinks, that that's where uh, I have uh, an opportunity to make good money. But right now, you know, my my whole thing is if I can't make money, I'd rather just sit the market, sit out the market, and wait for an opportunity to make money because, you know, like I ain't gonna get so excited that I run into something and then I lose money, right? Um, like it, 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 like I wouldn't go and buy a, a set of heifers. A three and a half weight heifer for two dollars and fifty cents. 
uh, number one, uh, right now I wouldn't go and I, because you know, that's about what they're paying for steers right now. And I wouldn't go and pay some ridiculous price just to, you know, well, okay. So, I mean, but I mean, well, there are all sorts of markets, you know, like if, 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 if you know, I can go uh, practically any day of the week to buy animals and I can go to a preconditioned calf sale at any one of these uh, sale barns. So I can literally buy any, buy, buy a good quality animals a, a, on any day of the week. So I ain't going to go and uh, run into something just to lose money. Like, would I be willing to pay two dollars and fifty cents for a th for a three weight heifer or for a three and a half weight heifer? Absolutely not. I mean, I would lose money if I had to buy a a, a three and a half weight heifer at two dollars and fifty cents, and uh, and the uh, the market spread on them looked like I was going to get about a dollar seventy at seven weight. That's a, that's that's a nearly a dollar drop. That that's an eighty six uh, 80, 70 cent drop. Um, I would want to spread at about a between a three and a half and, and, a, and a seven weight if that's 400 pounds if i was going to take them from 350 to 750 that's 400 pounds i would look for a drop of 40 cents on the spread i would look for a 40 cent spread you know i would look for a 40 cent spread that, that that's what i would look for and if i could find that i would i would be willing to buy it but uh, other than that um you know uh you know, I, I look for a 10 cent drop, a 10 cent drop per uh, per per hundred pounds. And so uh, because, you know, realistically, if I get a 10 cent drop per 100 pounds, you know, uh, uh, well, I mean, the, the, the market, you know, when, when I go to market, I may get, a, a, you know, it's, uh, there may be times when I get a little bit less. You know, uh, there, there may be times when I make like 10 cents less uh, than, than, than the market average for for the animals and so you know that that, that may mean that i i actually have to sell my animals at a 50 cent spread and then i also got to pay for trucking i got to pay for commission i got to pay for uh, uh uh hauling the animals over there i got to pay for all sorts of stuff and so when all that stuff is considered the the, the you know uh there, there there there's a lot of people that you know that get paid before i get my paycheck and so, uh, you know, I have to have a 40 cent spread. I have to have a 40 cent spread on the heifers across the general market before I'd be even willing to, uh, to, to pick up animals. And so uh, last year, the, the spread was like 30 cents because of the drought and the, and the corn prices were so high. And so, yep. But, um, you know, because uh, the animals, the price of the animal, it ain't the only thing that I gotta pay. I gotta pay for the the, the animals to get over to the sale barn. I gotta pay the sale barn commission. And then the sale barn is gonna charge me for trucking because these animals gotta get trucked to a different uh, a different location and, uh, and all sorts of stuff. I gotta pay all sorts of stuff. And so, you know, I need a 40 cent spread on these animals before I'd be willing to take, a, to be willing to pick up a lot. And so if, if it looks like the, the, the seven and a half weight market, if I look at the, 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 the market reports for various markets and they're all saying one, number one, seven and a half weight heifers are going for a dollar 80, then, uh, if I was going to pick up a three and a half weight calf, you know, I, I would only, I, I would realistically want to pay $2 and 10. I would realistically want to pay 210 at the absolute most. I would be willing to pay 220 because if I pay 220 and then I take them to the market and let's say the, uh, let's say that, uh, when I take them to the market, you know, uh, all things are, are still even and the, uh, the, the, the average, uh, price of a, uh, of a, uh, of a, uh, seven and a half weight heifer, number one grade heifer is a uh, is a uh a dollar 75 and then i end up getting a dollar 70 because uh that's just how it turns out i got five cents less well now i got a 45 cent spread on the animals and i have to pay for all the other stuff and so you know i ain't in this business like i ain't i like i ain't this ain't a charity you know what i'm saying i mean i'm in this to make money i need to make I'm, I'm in this to make money okay i like doing this i enjoy doing this but i'm also in this to make money you know what i'm saying like being broke it ain't gonna help nobody being broke it ain't gonna help me you know being broke ain't gonna you know it, 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 there ain't any benefit there's no reason there is zero good reason for me to go out of my way to be broke right you know why would i go into something and be like oh i'm just gonna do this for uh 
so that I can uh, giggle and fart and, and, and just have a merry old time and not worry about money. That, that That's a horrible idea. I mean, being broke is horrible. Being broke is, is not a good idea. And so I'm in this to make money. And, uh, and if the spread, if the spread of like the heifers turns into the spread of something like the steers right now, where the, uh, the, uh, the, if the feeder cattle don't pick up the spread, you know, the stalker cattle industry is going to do horrible. Uh, people like me uh, raising stalker cattle, we're going to do horrible. But, uh, uh, we'll have to see. I, th I think that the, the drop in corn prices, it is going to increase the spread between the, uh, between the, uh, the, uh, it's going to increase the spread between the calves and the, uh, and the, and the, and the, and the feeders. But, uh, I think that the feeder prices are going to go up too, because, uh, the cattle inventories are so low. And so, um, yep, uh, I think, I think that everything's going to do pretty good. Uh, I don't think that the spread is going to be so bad that I have to sit out the cattle market for a while. Uh, and I definitely don't want to be growing hay and selling hay when the hay, when, when, when the, uh, when the, uh, the, the feed market is dropping. I definitely don't want to be doing that either. And so, uh, you know, realistically, if, if I had my, my, uh, my choice into doing whatever, um, right now would be a good time to be in the, the cow calf market. That's what I think. I think that the cow calf and the, the calves and the, and the feeder and, and the feeder calves, feeder cattle, are going to uh i think that they're going to uh i think that the uh the spread is going to increase and that the cow calf market's going to do the best i think that the feeder market is going to go up and i think corn prices are going to go down and uh well you know last year when, when i talk about a 30 cent spread i'm talking about steers you know last year you know uh i could buy a uh a a, a, a like this steer or I, I could buy a steer for a dollar sixty and uh the a dollar sixty a pound during the drought and uh, and that same steer at seven and a half weight would go for a uh, a dollar a uh, dollar thirty dollar thirty five and so the spread between the calves and the and the, and the feeder steers were very low but now it's like the the spread between the steers is like a dollar the 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 uh, a number one steer is like three bucks two sixty and a, a number one uh, set a fed a feeder steer is like a is like is like a is like anywhere from like a dollar eighty to two bucks, and so the spread is almost like a dollar, and uh, can't I you know that that's that's a, that's a, that's a good idea to, you know if if I want to lose money, <laughs> if I want to go and uh, lose a whole lot of money, I can uh, buy a bunch of stalker steers at a, at a dollar spread and. Uh, fiddle fart around for a couple months and then i could hemorrhage money if that's what i want to do but uh, i think the market right now for me that the best idea for me right now is to just uh pick up heifers i mean these animals got some severe diarrhea and i think that that's happening because i forced them to eat the uh the mineral salt so but yep uh i think the market right now the best market right now is is, is feeder heifers but if the if the spread between the feeder heifers go higher i'm just going to kind of have to be sitting on my hands for a while uh trying to get until the market situates itself where i'm gonna have to find a, a a below market average deal or a below market uh average uh yeah deal i'm gonna have to find a good deal essentially and so uh, yep and a lot of these uh these uh like if i look on the internet right uh people uh usually people uh, that sell animals on the internet they usually offer a better price than the sale barn because they know that if if they have to take the animal to the sale barn, that they'll have to you know load them up, pay for trucking, pay for commission, pay for everything, and so uh, they're, they're usually willing to pay. Uh, they're usually willing to, they're willing to take a little bit of a discount, and so that that's also another way to find a good deal. But uh, yep, uh, that's it for me today, YouTube. Y'all have a good one.